Hello and welcome to another Passive Life video. This video is looking at the different solar yield you can expect from an Aptera by orientating it in different directions. Aptera is obviously a very highly optimized vehicle. When it comes to efficiency, things like weight of the vehicle and the efficiency of the powertrain are all within the engineer's power of influence to control. One element that is harder to control, however, is the solar production. I'm not so much talking about the weather, which is an obvious factor. I'm more talking about the commuting and parking and the user getting the most out of their solar production. For example, the optimum angle for a solar panel mounted on the roof of a building for maximum annual production varies depending on your location. Regions that are far away from the equator require the panels to be mounted with much steeper inclines to get the best possible solar yield. Regions closer to the equator can lay the panels much flatter. And this angle also changes through the seasons, with the sun appearing much lower in the sky during the winter months. Because Aptera is a vehicle optimized for efficient movement, the angle of the solar cells is defined by the aerodynamic requirements, rather than the optimum solar angle. As a result, the angle of the solar cells is relatively flat. The rear hatch cells have an angle of around 15 degrees, and the hood has an angle in the opposite direction of around 22 degrees. This angle is too low for optimum solar production year-round in regions that are far away from the equator. But this low angle does, however, have one major advantage. For a lot of daylight hours, all of the panels of the Aptera can receive direct sunlight, which, as anyone with solar panels will tell you, is much more critical than the optimum solar angle. So this means that while you are driving or parking the Aptera, the orientation of the vehicle, i.e. north, south, east or west, might not make as much difference as people think. At least, not for most of the year. To show you the difference it might make, I calculated the monthly production in two different regions of the US, one in the far north and one in the south. Take the northern region for example. Using the full solar version of the Aptera and pointing the Aptera's rear hatch south generates about 68.3 kilowatt hours of energy or 1,092 kilometers of range in July. Turning it 180 degrees to the north generates 63.5 kilowatt hours of energy or 1,016 kilometers of range, a difference of only 7% or less than a mile per day. By comparison in winter, pointing the rear hatch south generates about 3.66 kilowatt hours of energy or 58 kilometers of range in January, which is very little. Turning it around drops that down to 1.66 kilowatt hours or 27 kilometers, which is just under half of that amount, but in real terms the difference is about one kilometer or about two thirds of a mile per day. Which although is a big difference in terms of percentage, in terms of daily use, actually isn't that much. By changing location to an area much further south, in this case Arizona, we see a similar story. Not only do we have longer sunlight hours here for the Aptera to spend more time absorbing the sun, but the lower angle of Aptera solar panels are also better suited to this region for maximum solar generation year round. And the sun position being higher in the sky means that each panel spends much longer in direct sunlight. In summer we get a crazy amount of power generated regardless of the orientation. Pointing the rear hatch south in May generates an enormous 131 kilowatt hours of energy or 2,096 kilometers of range. But switching it around gets almost as much with 129 kilowatt hours or 2,064 kilometers of range, which is about 98.5% of the more optimized direction pointing it south. This is because the sun is so high that all the panels are in direct sunlight for most of the daylight hours, no matter which direction the vehicle is pointing. This factor becomes even more apparent when we change to the winter months, in this case January. During the winter months, the sun is still high compared to other northern regions, but we do start to see the effect of the panels facing away from the sun receiving less direct sunlight. The results are still impressive. When the rear hatch faces south, we get up to 75 kilowatt hours or 1,200 kilometers of range, but this gets cut in half to 44 kilowatt hours or 704 kilometers of range when we turn it around. 704 kilometers of range per month is still 22 kilometers of range per day, but that is far off the 38 kilometers per day that might be possible if the rear hatch was always facing south. Just for argument's sake, I rotated the Aptera to face east and perhaps, as expected, the total production falls almost exactly halfway between the two previous orientations. Worth noting in this orientation is that the production curve is much flatter, with a lower peak in summer and less of a dip in winter, again halfway between the previous two extremes. To summarize, I would say that during the sunniest six months of the year, the orientation really doesn't make much difference to the solar production. During the darker months of the year, however, pointing the solar away from the sun will cut your gains in half. If you live closer to the equator, this will not be such a big deal, as the amount of solar production, even when facing away from the sun, is still impressive. 
That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that really helps out the channel. And if you want to support the channel even more, then do consider joining and you will get access to some extra content. As always, if you're thinking of reserving an Aptera, then please do use the link below. That will save you $30 on the reservation fee, which is totally refundable. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.